Hi guys, welcome to another Android Studio tutorial and in this video I'll show you how you can create a Google Maps app. So we need to start a new Android Studio project. We can call it whatever you want. I'm just going to leave it as default. Next. Now this needs to be, this minimum SDK needs to be at least 2.2. Uh, but I'm just going to use API 15 just because I want to. So we we'll just click next and we want to click use a Google Maps activity so we want this one here. So we'll just click next. Again it's asking um, activity name just leave all this as default. Just click next and let that build. Okay and the first thing we see is this window here. So this gives you a to-do list. Is before you run your application, you need a Google Maps API key, and to get one, follow this link, follow the directions, and press Create at the end. So it's pretty straightforward. So you want to copy this whole link. All the way to the end. So just Control C, we we'll copy that. I'm gonna grab a browser. And we just pop that into the browser. And it takes us to this window here. Now, you need a Google uh, account. Well, obviously, because I'd been already, I was already signed in um, into Google Chrome, it's automatically taking me to this this page, which is the uh, Google Developers Console. So it's registered application for Google Maps, Android API, and Google Developers Console. So you have no existing projects, a new project named My Project will be created. So do you agree to the services and related IVIs and blah blah blah? Just click yes, agree and continue, read the terms if you like, and it's created a new project called My Project. So we've got this up here, the API is enabled. Project has been created with Google Maps Android and Google Maps Android API has been enabled. Next, to use the API we need the right credentials. So go to credentials. And create Android API key. So it's all here, all you listed, it's already got the uh, SHA1 uh, certificate fingerprint which we saw here. This is this fingerprint here. So it's already inputted all the relevant relevant data. It's also inputted your package name, which is common example John J, my application in, in in my case, which we see here at the end here, which is your package name. And it does say here, note it may take up to five minutes for settings to take effect. So we want to press create, and there's our API key. So we can just copy that, press OK. If you press OK before, you, your key's here. So you can just copy this key. So I've copied the key. And it says once you have your, we can skip these two. Once you have your key, it starts with ALZA, which you did. Replace the Google Maps key string in this file. So that's this, this, this is the string here. So this is a Google Maps key. That's the name, string name. And that's the actual string there. So we just literally highlight in between those two pointers and paste. And that's it. And that just enables us to run the Google Maps app in an emulator. So we can run that. So if I press run and I want to launch the emulator. however we want just like we can with a standard Google Maps app now I don't know if you noticed in this case it defaulted to, to um, Australia and Sydney that's because if you go to maps activity it, it's it's um set up a, a lat lang 
marker called Sydney, a uh, latitude longitude with the coordinates for Sydney. Just as a uh, as a demonstration, you can obviously change that to whatever you want. Um, but that that gets you started, and that um, will allow you to run the app in an emulator. So uh, that's pretty much it. And if you connect your device um, to your computer, you can uh, upload this this app onto your device, and you can run the app. And same functionality as you as you see here. Okay, guys. Okay, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing.